Do you want to learn how to speed the ball up with the dreaded flick shot? Then this video's for you. For this video, I've asked my co-coach, Tony Reg, who is not just a match master teaching professional, he also happens to be a senior pro player, to help us better understand the world of speed ups. Absolutely, uh, Coach, pleasure to be here. Um, you know, these speed ups, we're seeing them a lot more in the professional pickleball play at the senior level, and also, as you saw in the, in the rally that Coach CJ started this video with, at the professional pickleball play level. But the beautiful thing, Coach, is it's a strategy, or it's a, it's a shot that you can learn how to add to your game. Once you're ready to add this to your game, this video is gonna teach it to you. What we're gonna to do to show this to you is we are going to demonstrate as coach, and Coach CJ has agreed to act in the place of a student here. So coach, you're gonna be the student in this, and what I'm gonna do is walk you through a progression of the how to develop the shot as part of your game, if you're ready to go, coach. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this, all right. So we're gonna start off with some simple cross-court dinking. Nice, relaxed cross-court dinking, just to get into a rhythm a little bit, right? It's a little bit windy today, we gotta to get adjusting to the wind. So we're gonna dink a little bit cross-court, the key to this shot is it's a shot that's that's dictated by deception. So it's a shot that, that you need to deceive your opponent with to surprise them with the shot. That way they don't counterattack it when it comes their way. So the first thing we're gonna do, coach, is we're gonna start hitting some volley dinks. So I'll give you some deeper balls and you're gonna, excellent. You're gonna take them out of the air. There you go, that's a, that's a great miss. That was a good dink. So you're gonna take them out of the air as much as possible when you can. So I'm gonna give you that, right. So you start taking them out of the air. And the idea here is now, they don't know what you're gonna do, right? Are you gonna dink the next one or are you gonna attack it? So this is the beginning of it. Excellent, coach, excellent, good volley dinks. So the first step is to have a nice volley dink, a volley dink that you can hit again and again and again. That's what sets up the stage for the deception that's coming their way. And I think one of the important parts about this is um, a lot of players are not comfortable with the volley at the non-volley right. zone, right? Is the with the volley dink, right, with exactly. The, dink. Yeah. the tendency is to right. back away from the non-volley zone. So before you add the next piece, right. <laughs> you have to have a solid volley, really on both sides right. of, yeah, of a the Yeah, solid ball. volley dink. You need to have a solid volley dink so you can create the deception. Otherwise, if you're stepping off the line, it doesn't work because your opponents are going to be reading it differently and they'll have more time to react to the ball. What you don't want to do is flick it at your opponent and have them crack the ball back at you. So deception is a really important part of this stroke. All right, coach, let's clear that ball and let's add the next layer if we can. If you like advanced strategies like this one and you're ready to really elevate your game, you're going to want to join us inside our Stacking Masterclass. I'm going to put a link up here. Join our Stacking Masterclass and take your game to that next level. I'll start the dink on the bounce and then I'll start introducing some volley dinks in a second. So as soon as I start introducing volley dinks, right? That's all right, here we go, start again. Good, so I'll start introducing some volley dinks now, good. Some volley dinks, that one wasn't volleyable, right? There's the volley dink, excellent. Volley dink, excellent. Now what I'm gonna want you to do is, on the next time you get a volley dink, I want you to turn your paddle, so it faces this way, turn your paddle, that way. face it that way, open it, right? And then you're gonna push the ball this way, so that the player who's standing here gets all of a sudden shocked with the ball, okay? So we'll hit, a, we'll hit, let's hit two out of the air towards me and the third one, turn and poke it that way. So I'm, when I do that, I'm turning the paddle, right? So it's like, I'm thinking like it's parallel to the, the net, the net yep. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm turning the paddle so it's parallel to the net Correct. and then I'm not flicking this with my no. wrist, right? I'm just pushing the ball yep. to the player that's in front of me. Yeah, your objective here is to be clear, your objective with this speed up is not to win the rally on the first shot. If you do, great. You know, if, if it's so overwhelming that they miss it, that's fine. Normally what happens, as you saw in the rally that we started this video with, and that we'll show you again at the end so you see it all tied together, is that the first shot jams the player here, that results in a pop-up, and then either you or your partner come in and clean it up and put it away, just like Georgia Johnson did in that rally. Okay, so that makes a lot of things yep. clear, right? We're not necessarily trying to win on that first Correct. shot. Correct. If you do, you do, but that's not the objective, okay. right? All so right. let's start with a bounce dink first. All right. There you go. I'll give you some volley dinks now. There you go. One more volley dink. And then the next one, that's all right, let's do it again. Bounce dink. Then we'll do a volley dink to me. That was a tough one, good one, coach. Volley dink, excellent. And then this one, there you go. That's beautiful, coach. That's exactly how you're gonna shock this player because you've hit a couple of volley dinks. This player gets relaxed a little bit. All of a sudden, that ball's on him. They're gonna get jammed up, either miss or pop it up. 
So the volley really sets up that element yep. of surprise. Um, they're not sure. They think I'm going right. to volley it back again, that I've gotten into a pattern right. going cross court. Yeah, that you're going to volley dink it over mm -hmm. there, and all of a sudden you're hitting that volley speed up, flick into the body. Well, and the other thing there, Coach Tony, is, is again, I, it's, it's not a wrist motion, right? right? I'm just pushing right. the, the paddle towards the player that's out in front of me. I think a lot of players think it's when you say flick. Right. They think it's flicking the wrist. Yeah. Flicking the wrist. Yeah. If you think about it this way, and this is how we teach everything that, that Coach CJ and I teach, think about the number of variables in your shots, right? Are you adding a bunch of variables into your shots? The more you're using the wrist, elbow, and things like that, you're complicating your shot, oftentimes unnecessarily for no gain, uh, and just increasing the number of errors. So the more you can use your shoulder as your primary driver, like Coach CJ showed there, the better your shot will be. If you're enjoying this content, and you want more content just like this, flick the button down below and subscribe to the channel. Well, thanks, Coach Tony. That's, that's a nice flick. That was fun to do. Yeah, that was a, you did really well, Coach. You know, adding these kind of elements to your game can be a fun way to expand your game. We recommend it's really important to have a solid base of foundation and, those, and before you start adding these kind of things to your game. But once you have them, like Coach CJ does, you can definitely add these speed ups to your game. So if you'd like more advanced strategies, make sure that you click on the playlist above to take your game to the next level.